first thing I gotta lose these cops. We're loaded, Tom. We did it. It worked. Sure looks like it. So what now? We'll change our clothes so they won't pick us up on the street. Put the dough in the briefcase. Fine, then what? Don't say a word to anyone. Sleep on it. Stop by tomorrow and think about what we're gonna do with the dough. I'll take it with me, so Sarah won't find it. You know? Just don't run off with it. Sure. I'll take off to Hawaii. <laughs> don't try it. I'd find you and stuff that metal-plated briefcase down your throat. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we hid the dough from the bank at Pauly's for the time being. We couldn't blow it all straight away, so we arranged that I'd stop by there the next day, and we'd think of the best way to invest it. I had loads of ideas of what to do with the money, but I was pretty curious about what Pauly's plans were. Oh, Jesus! What the hell happened? Polly! Polly! Christ! The, the dough! Where's the dough? Damn it! It's all gone! This is like a bad dream. Uh, Sam? It's, it's Tom. Polly's dead. I, uh, I... Christ! I knew it. Tom, you're in deep shit. I wanted to warn Polly. Salieri found out about the bank and decided he wasn't gonna tolerate it. I didn't make it in time. Tom, you gotta disappear fast. Sam, I, I, I didn't know it would be such a big deal. I... What should I do? I can't just leave Sarah and the kid. Okay, okay, Tom, I'll help you. We gotta meet somewhere, but almost everywhere is dangerous for you now. Our best bet would be the city gallery. Okay, okay, I'll be there in a little while. I... thank you. You, you know Polly is lying here in a million pieces. I, I don't know who else I could turn to. It's okay. I still owe you one. Thanks, Sam.
son. So, how's Paulie? Paulie's dead. Huh? I guess he ain't too well then, huh? Yeah, may he rest in peace. Knowing you, he's probably resting in pieces, huh? <laughs> so, your little job didn't work out. It looks that way. Hmm. So, you'll be needing some weapons then, right? I see you never forget the business side of things. Of course not. That would be a big mistake. Okay, then show me what you got. Thanks, here's the money. Well, thank you kindly, and uh, I hope you get those bastards. Polly deserves at least that. Hey, Tommy, well, you look exhausted. I am, um, and I've definitely got a good reason to be. What happened? It doesn't matter. I, I just need a good set of wheels, Lucas. We'll see what could be done. Great. What do you need today? I need to find out where a certain guy is hidden. He owes a lot of people big time, and I'm one of them. Where can I find him? Well, this hooker is falling for him, and she brings him food and, uh, you know, stuff. But so far, nobody knows where. So you need to find her and find out where he's hidden. And then I'll find him and deal with him. And uh, where do I find her? Uh, she works in that same hotel which you blew a hole out of in 32. Uh, but if you wait for her there, uh, she'll certainly lead you to him. And then? When she goes home, just come back here and tell me where she goes. Okay.
Well, it looks like I hit the nail right on the head. I found him for you, Lucas. He lives downtown on the corner of the street above the church. Fantastic. She didn't see you? No way. So where's this car? Sure. And you know what a used car dealership is in town? Up near Chinatown? Right. You'll find it there. An improved version of one sports car with front-wheel drive. And how is it better than the old one? Performance, son. Eddie hey, Accelerator is much better, even if, at first sight, the car looks the same. But when you go for it, watch out. The car isn't for sale and belongs to the owner. And he's got real nasty dogs there. I should handle it.
Don't move, scumbag. Oh, shit. Surprise! <laughs> you weren't looking for that at Paulie's by chance. Sam, what's going on? I thought we were meeting alone. The situation's changed, Tom. I had to decide whose side I was on, and sorry, but it would be suicidal to stand on your side. I can live with murder, though. So you killed Paulie? Well... I was more the means to his death. The same as I am in your case. I would never have expected this from you, Sam. Well, I'm in a good mood. Things are looking up for me, and I, well, I found a bag of money. So killing off your partners is a big laugh? Maybe I should try it. Hmm, it ain't bad. But you probably won't have time. It's never too late to start. I guess honor's out of the picture. Honor's meaningless. This is business, and you've broken its unwritten rules many times over, Tom.
Maybe I feel some pity that's out of place in business. I didn't notice that I was the cause of the family's problems. Really? You did what you wanted, Tom. You didn't kill Frank. You let that whore get away and then the bank? You can't do what you know is right because you don't know nothing. You don't grasp the effects of your actions. The Don is the thinker. You were never a great thinker, so you probably need him. That's not how I feel. I can think for myself. The opinion of Don Cilieri is that he won't go and sit in jail just because of your feelings. And I agree with his opinion completely. Don Cilieri really liked you, Tom. And I did too. We'll cry together at the funeral. You poor bastard, Sam. I feel sorry for you. But I'm alive. It's a pity you can't use that money. Oh, but don't worry. We'll give Sarah a little something. You know, single mothers don't have it easy these days. The Don will take care of her. He isn't as much of a monster as you think. Goodbye, Tom. It was nice knowing you. Take good care of him, boys. And please, don't make him suffer. He's my buddy. As I see it, the boys underestimated you, Tom. Well, I hope they'll be luckier this time. Boys, be careful you don't break anything. There are lots of beautiful and valuable things in here.
kill you.
It looks like you underestimated your new partners. Maybe you ought to change sides. It's still not over, Tom. Things aren't what they look like, Sam. Salieri also double-crossed you. What are you talking about? We almost got killed because of those stupid cigars. Salieri knew that the job was risky. There were diamonds hidden between those cigars. He didn't want to give us a cut. That's why Paulie wanted to take the bank. Because he realized how Salieri was ripping us off. He told me about those diamonds, Tom. He only wanted to keep them secret so nobody knew where they were before he sold them. Besides, the diamonds have nothing to do with the fact that you didn't kill Frank! He broke the Omerta. Which is worse, Tom. How do you know I didn't kill Frank? You can blame it all on someone else you didn't kill. You're too human. She came back to the city and we found her by accident. Damn it. Tom, 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 you know you can't trust the dame. I can understand it isn't easy to kill your wife's best friend. Yeah, I should have done it for you. <laughs> she also pleaded with me and cried. Uh, well, we realized that we couldn't rely on you, so we checked up a little and found out about Frank. Sam, do you really think everything has to end like this? We still got a chance. There ain't no way back now, Tom. I'm sorry. Same situation again, Tom. And once again, you can't decide. Damn it. You did it, but they'll get you all the same. Salieri will get you. He stood by you, you rat. You're dangerous, Tom. And Paulie is dead. He was never, never sure that you would, wouldn't forgive his death. Oh, you're gonna have to hide like an outcast. And one day they'll get you all the same. Like Frank. They found him? You only le lengthened his life. But in the end, they found him. All the same. And Frank was the Don's only real friend. Friendship ain't worth shit. <laughs> oh! So it was you again, huh? You destroyed the picture collection? Worth a few million dollars? I wasn't planning on it, but somehow it worked out that way. Otherwise, that's everything? I got out of there fast. It was no picnic. I really was in danger. 
but I pulled it off. I took the wife and daughter and immediately left the country. Sam was right. If they decided to find Frank in Europe and take revenge almost five years after he disappeared, they wouldn't let me just leave after betraying them. And you're willing to say all that you've now said to me in front of a court? And give evidence against all those men? Don't you think the situation will be a lot worse for you? What you're planning to do now isn't betrayal. It's more like treason. If these people go to jail, or better yet, death row, they won't be able to take revenge on me. At least not as easily as if they were free. I am willing to give evidence against them if you ensure our protection and after the trial, a new identity for me, my wife, and my daughter. If we manage to pull it off, it'll be the biggest legal battle this country's ever seen. It's an interesting offer. I don't know if it's moral to help somebody like you, but I think the results will be worth it. I think we'll help you. Everything worked out until the legal case. I sat in my cell and wrote down the evidence I had against all the people I had worked with. People I had been friends with for 10 years. The case was huge and caused a shock throughout the country. Salieri got life. Even some of his thugs got the chair. The shortest sentence was eight years. I spent the whole time in a closed cell at a secret location with no visitors. I didn't see Sarah or my little girl the entire time. In the end, it was worth it. Norman got us new identities and moved us to the other end of the U.S. I got work as a driver for a respectable company. We started a whole new life. This piece was only interrupted by the war, but we got through it. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. You know, the world isn't run by the laws written on paper. It's run by people. Some according to laws, others not. It depends on each individual how his world will be, how he makes it. And you also need a whole lot of luck so that somebody else doesn't make your life hell. And it ain't as simple as they tell you in grade school. But it is good to have strong values and to maintain them in marriage, in crime, in war. Always and everywhere. I messed up. So did Polly and Sam. We wanted a better life, but in the end, we were a lot worse off than most other people. You know, I think it's important to keep a balance in things. Yeah, balance, that's the right word. Because the guy who wants too much risks losing absolutely everything. Of course, the guy who wants too little from life might not get anything at all.